Let's see the question number 10 and what will be the output of the following code in Python. And we have the string welcome to Python and we are splitting the string. So we have the, the options that we have are A and B with tuples. Okay, the difference is in B we have the W and the P in lowercase, then we have the C and D with lists, and again and again the W and P are in lowercase in the option D, and finally the option E we get a set. Okay, so let me open the terminal and let's see the correct answer, and the correct answer is a list with W and P in uppercase, so it is the option C. Let's understand why the option C is the right answer. From question number 6, we know that the split method returns a list of substrings in the string. Also, if we do not provide any parameter to split, it will split by white spaces, it will treat consecutive white spaces as a single one, and finally, the result will contain no empty strings at the start or the end of the result list. Now we know that it will return a list. Also, we must note that Python have four built-in data types to store collections of data. The first one is the list. It is used to store multiple items in a single variable. We can create a list with square brackets, and this is an example of a list. The next data type is the tuple. It is used to store multiple items in a single variable, like we do with lists. A tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable. We can create tuples with round brackets. This is an example of a tuple. And finally, we must pay attention that we cannot change a specific item of the tuple because they are immutable. Let's see the third data type. And it is the set. A set is used to store multiple and unique items in a single variable. Also, a set is a collection which is unordered unindexed and does not allow duplicates. We cannot repeat items in a set. We can create sets using curly brackets. This is an example of a set. And take notice, we cannot get an item by index because sets don't have indexes. Let's see the final data type. And the final data type is the dictionary. Dictionaries are used to store data values in key value pairs. Also, it is a collection which is unordered, changeable and and does not allow duplicates. We cannot repeat the keys. We can create a dictionary using curly brackets where items are presented in key value pairs and these items can be referred to by using the key name. Finally, we have here an example of a dictionary. Knowing all of these, let's see the options that we have. A and B have round brackets, so they must be tuples. Also, the option E have curly brackets and it doesn't have key value pairs so it must be a set. And now the options C and D have square brackets, so they must be lists. And now which one is the right one? Well, we must take a look to the original string. It has W and P with uppercase, and the option C have the W and the P with uppercase, so this is why C is the right answer.